Hey guys, and welcome to Unsupervised Machine Learning, Hidden Markov Models in Python. In this class, we are of course going to learn about hidden Markov models, which are used for modeling sequences of data. Sequences appear everywhere, stock prices, language, credit scoring, and web page visits. A lot of the time, we're dealing with sequences in machine learning and we don't even realize it, or we ignore the fact that the data came from a sequence. Consider the following sentence, like and cat's dog I. Of course, this sentence doesn't make any sense, and that's what happens when you use a model like bag of words. The fact that it becomes very hard to tell what a sentence means when you take away the time aspect tells you that there's a lot of information carried there. The original sentence was, I like cats and dogs, and you could have probably decoded that yourself, but you can imagine how this would get progressively harder as the sentence gets longer. In this course, we are going to start with the very basic Markov model, no hidden. These are, by themselves, very useful for modeling sequences, as you'll see. We'll talk about the mathematical properties of a Markov model and go through a ton of examples so you can really see how they are used. Google's PageRank algorithm is based on Markov models, so you know that despite being old technology, Markov models are still very useful and very relevant today. We'll also talk about how to model language and how to analyze web visitor data so you can fix problems like high bounce rate. Next, we'll look at the hidden Markov model. This will be much more complex mathematically, but the first section should prepare you. We'll look at the three basic problems in hidden Markov modeling, which are number one, predicting the probability of a sequence. Number two, predicting the most likely sequence of hidden states given an observed sequence. And number three, how to train a hidden Markov model. Typical courses that teach hidden Markov models stop there, but I know a lot of you guys are interested in deep learning, and this course is basically a lead-in into my next course on sequences, which will teach you about recurrent neural networks. You know that gradient descent is the main technique we use to train our neural networks, but I've said that it can be used to optimize any function. We'll see how this can be true by using gradient descent to train our HMM. Typically, the expectation maximization algorithm is used, and we're going to do this too, but we'll see how gradient descent makes things much easier. To write this code, we'll make use of the deep learning library called Viano, which can automatically calculate gradients. I'm going to show you the very useful scan function in Theano, which is a critical part of recurrent neural networks. It will be good to learn now so you can be more comfortable with them later. Finally, after looking at plain HMMs, which are used for modeling discrete observations, like rolling a die or flipping a coin, we'll look at how HMMs can be used to model continuous observations, specifically by combining HMMs and Gaussian mixture models or GMMs. We learned about these in my previous unsupervised learning course on cluster analysis. We will end this course by looking at even more practical examples of how HMMs can be used. If you have a question, I am always around to help. Just write your question on the discussion board and I will answer it there. This is very useful to other students who may have the same question. Please also write me with your suggestions for the course. Every single one of my courses has been updated since I first started them, thanks to feedback from my students. I plan to add more examples, more explanations if something is confusing, and more exercises so you can test whether or not you really know your stuff. See you in the next lecture.